So you guys seem to really enjoy my last video where I had ChatGPT control my bit life. But now with the recommendation of one of your guys' comments, I'm going to be using ChatGPT in a little bit of a different way. I'm going to have ChatGPT create me an entirely new bit life challenge from scratch. Come become a patron and join the Patreon community where you can get exclusive videos that will not be posted onto YouTube and unlock early access to my new podcast, Lost and Loud. So I'm changing it up a bit. I have ChatGPT. I downloaded it onto my iPad so that I can actually do voice to text and so that my computer doesn't lag. <laughs> for anybody that doesn't know which ChatGPT I'm using, I'm using ChatGPT4. It is the one you have to pay for, but because it's for you guys, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Are you familiar with the game BitLife? Yes, I'm familiar with BitLife, the light simulator game, yada, 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 a bunch of stuff we don't need to read. Create me a challenge that I can play in BitLife with very designated criteria that you list for me. Ensure that the criteria is playable in the game and can mimic BitLife gameplay. I want the challenge to be funny, creative, a little scandalous here and there, and make sure when you list the criteria, it is very straightforward. So now we're setting that and let's see what they come up with. This is cool, oh my gosh. It keeps going. Okay, here we go. Certainly, here's a fun, creative, and slightly scandalous bit life challenge for you. The double life challenge. Early years, we have to be born in any country of our choice. During our school years, make sure you have very low popularity, but excellent grades. Attend university for a degree of your choice, but you must join a secret society or fraternity sorority. Okay, we can just do that. But the thing is, is we have low popularity. We'll start dating someone, but do not get serious, AKA avoid becoming exclusive. The double life begins, age 22 to 30. Start a career in any field, but it must be a reputable or high status job, like a doctor, lawyer, or CEO. Secretly have a second job or hobby that is completely opposite or scandalous compared to your main job, like a nightclub dancer, undercover agent. Oh, well, that's not coming yet, but get married to your college sweetheart, but maintain at least one affair. Midlife antics, have at least two children. Get involved in a scandal either through your job or personal life. Get caught doing something illegal or morally questionable. Survive the scandal without losing your primary job. Oh, that's tough. The twist of fate, confess your double life to your family or get exposed. Get a divorce if married, then remarry someone with a completely different profile from your first spouse. Change your career entirely from like a lawyer to an artist. Oh, shit. okay. Golden years, write a book about your scandalous life. <laughs> So we have to get famous, I guess? Achieve a net worth of over $2 million through legal or slightly questionable means. Reconcile with any estranged children or family members. Retire in a country different from where you're born. That's actually such a good challenge. Okay, now I'm gonna ask it, what should like our appearance be? Now for this challenge, what should I make my bit life character look like? Give me an eye color, a hair color, a skin color, a hair texture type, as well as what shape eyebrows should they have? For your bit life character in the double life challenge, let's create a distinctive appearance. Eye color is bright green, hair color is platinum blonde, skin color is olive, hair texture wavy, and eyebrow shape thick and arched. So guys, it's official. Let's begin the double life challenge in bit life, thanks to Mr. Chad GPT. So here we have David Brunet from France. I made our special talent acting because ChatGPT did say that we have to write a book later in life after we switch careers about our scandalous life. So I figured it needs to be a job that gets us some fame. So I figured acting would be perfect. And our appearance, we did what it said, bright green eyes with platinum wavy hair. The thing is in bit life, there's not actually like wavy hair. There's like straight hair and then curly hair. So it's a little tough. So that's my version of wavy hair. Olive skin, as well as some arched brows. Again, there's no like arched brows, but I did it so that the brows at least look like that. And let's begin. A little boy named Gavin wants to become our friends. No, thank you. ChatGPT did not say anything about friendships, so I'm just gonna assume no. No, a little boy named Case wants to be your friend. No, thank you. Oh my god, our mom wants to buy us a pet rabbit named Bugsy. Okay, I have to for the plot because I'm a rabbit mom. You hear that, Coco? Mommy's getting a rabbit in bit life. You have a sibling now. You're learning to do some really fun things now and are trying to decide which activity is your favorite. What will you choose? Let's do jumping on one foot. That reminds me of like that Jubilee video where they had to split the money and the, the person like recommended doing it and then they lost and then they were salty after. I'm out. Do you think that was fair? No. Now we're officially in primary school. So every year we have to study harder and get good grades, but I have to have low popularity. Our popularity bar is like over halfway full. So that's actually really 
bad. Maybe I can try and join a popular club, but then get denied and that'll make me less popular. <gasps> I got it. That's how we're doing this. You're being bullied at school by your classmate, Oliver, for having a funny accent. The audacity, Oliver, when you look like that. We have to be good students, so we're just gonna report him. I am old enough now, though, to start doing some acting lessons. Because ChatGPT said we have to choose like a high status, reputable job, like a CEO, a doctor, a lawyer. So I think we're gonna go the doctor route. Even though ChatGPT is not accurate about that because you don't finish med school till you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> Double life begins at 22. No, sweetie, that's not the case. So we're not really taking into account exactly the age stuff that they're saying. But because I have to start off with that type of job and then do one that lets me write a book, acting is going to be something in my back pocket. So let's ask our mother for acting lessons. She agreed. Awesome. My popularity is high again, but this time to make sure that my popularity goes down, I'm just going to go to like the popular kids and start hanging out with them. They ignored you. Hopefully that made my popularity go down. It did. <laughs> So we're gonna study harder again. And this time though, I am gonna try and join drama club. So our acting bar can get full automatically. <laughs> I made it to high school and I did the same thing where I insulted the popular kids leader and they, they attacked me. But I'm only 15, so I can't sue them. That's not right. Your parents should be allowed to sue for you in BitLife. And then to make it even more scandalous, your parents can steal your lawsuit money. Okay, we have officially graduated. ChatGPT said we can do a degree of my choice, but we must join a fraternity or sorority. So I think I'm gonna try and go the doctor route. So we have to apply to school for any of the sciences. I've been looking for biology for a couple of minutes. I couldn't find it. So I think you can still do it with physics. I'm gonna take the risk, okay? Oh, France has free public university. <sighs> Why doesn't North America have that? Canada, what's going on, bestie? And then we have to start dating someone from college, but it cannot get serious. So that means we just have to like hook up with them. We're not actually gonna ask them out. So first things first, fraternity bestie. Are there no fraternities in Europe? Oh shit. So there's actually no fraternities or sororities in BitLife in European countries. So can we just join a clique instead? Absolutely. Joining a clique is a great alternative. Okay, we have ChatGPT's permission. So let's look at all the different cliques we can join. Troublemakers we could do. You must frequently get up to trouble in school to join this dubious clique. I'm just gonna do nerds. Oh my God. Normals. Oh my gosh. I'm screwed. Okay, so nobody wants to join me. The drama kids don't even want me. Look at my drama acting skill. Thank you very much. Oh, maybe it's because I haven't actually joined the drama club yet. That's awkward. Okay, I'll wait a year. We'll age a year. Okay, I fumbled the bag by not joining the club. <laughs> Forgive me, ChatGPT. And this works because even though it doesn't account for our scandalous part of this life, it's gonna account for the acting later. So now that that's done, we just have to start dating someone, but do not get serious. But in BitLife, you can't really achieve that. So instead, we're just gonna find someone in our class and have them be like a regular hookup. I guess since we have a good relationship with her, let's go for Suzanne Charles. You listened closely and maintained eye contact with your classmate, Suzanne, so that she would see that you are paying attention to her. <laughs> she was not very receptive. I'm gonna flirt with her one more time. Okay, I don't. I just don't think she likes me. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can befriend her because I think you can hook up with your friends in BitLife. Befriend her. We are now friends with her, but we're not exclusive. Try to hook up with her. She rejected us, period. She knows what she wants. I'm just gonna let her go. What about Charlotte? She's a part of the popular kids. Let's flirt with her. She was more receptive than Suzanne. You know what? Screw what ChatGPT said. I'm gonna ask them out. I just won't propose. So exclusive means marriage. That's what we're going for. So let's ask out Charlotte. She prefers rebels. Oh my gosh, they all hate me. I'm asking my mother for money because we need, we need money. We need to bribe people with gifts. Our mom has money. She just gave me a thousand dollars casually. Let's go to Emmy and let's give her a really nice gift. A bouquet of tulips. Okay, not bad. Bit life boss mode. That's perfect. Oh my god, yes. Okay, now let's ask her out. <laughs> she rejected me. She said my intelligence is intimidating. We're gonna give her a compliment. Flirt with her again. <gasps> what am I doing wrong? What did I do to these people? <laughs> I might have to go the friend route. Okay, we're friends with her. Maybe now if I ask her out. That makes no sense. 
but we officially have a girlfriend. So let's just make love. <laughs> Keep the baby. ChatGPT literally said avoid becoming exclusive. Do not get serious. What is more serious than a child? We've graduated, so it's time to apply to medical school. Seek higher education and go to medical school. Ask my mother to She refused. She's rich. What's your problem? Apply for scholarship. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we have a baby and student loans. She's pregnant again. We're only supposed to have two kids after we're married. Oh, okay. We graduated. Time to look for a job. So we are going to be a brain surgeon. So let's look at part-time jobs. Go, go dancer at a nightclub. <gasps> we have to do that. That's so good. No. My wife's pregnant again. Okay, ChatGPT, I cannot do only the two kids thing because I cannot stop us from having many more babies. Part time jobs, please give me something good. You want to know what's really opposite to a brain surgeon? A chicken sexer. I'm going to do it. Awesome. Okay, I just have a couple more years to age, then we're out of debt. Now that we have money, I'm going to propose to our girlfriend. Propose in a gondola ride. Oh, jeez. She rejected me. Ooh. A flash mob on the street. She rejected that too. Ouch. A botanical garden. Thank you. Time to get married so that we can start the affair. David is not a good person. Let's get married at a winery in Germany. It is time to start the affair. So we are definitely going to go for a co-worker. Maybe Marie. You told your co-worker Marie you'd share with her how you got to your position if she wouldn't mind assuming the position for you after work. She rejected me. Oh, that's an HR visit. Oh boy. Let's compliment her <laughs> and seduce her. Oh, is that successful? I'm losing my job. I'm getting fired. There's no way I'm not. So I have to make this count. What about, oh, she's the same name as a daughter. That's weird. But we'll compliment her and let's try and hook up with her. She rejected me too. Woo, HR launched an investigation. Look at, look at my thing right now. All we need is an affair. So we're just going to hook up with someone that doesn't have to be coworkers because it's getting too complicated. <laughs> a lady named Liana wants to ask if your name is Wi-Fi because she's feeling a connection. Give it to her. Oh, she found out. So we're officially at the twist of fate. Confessing your double life to your family or get exposed. Get a divorce if married and then remarry someone with a completely different profile from your first spouse and change your career entirely. So it is officially time to leave our wife. I'm sorry, bestie, but consider it a divorce. And we're going to find a new wife. So we are going to date Rosa Maria. I love her name. And ask her on a date. And now we have to remarry her. So we're going to see if she'll accept our proposal right away. At a sunset cruise. Okay, she accepted. Let's remarry. And now we have to quit both our careers. So resign from brain surgeon. And resign from chicken sexer. <laughs> and now that we're 45, until we're 60, I'm going to try and become a famous actor. So that I can enjoy my golden years. We will take this opportunity take all of them we will take every single one of them now that we did our extra rules i'm gonna see if i can get into like a tv show one that's like very low popularity and hope that they hire me even though i'm in my 40s i didn't get a call back for anything so i'm just gonna do extra rules for a couple more years probably wait my mother just died <laughs> it completely skipped my mind i just inherited two million Oh, we got an agent. A dude named Arthur Dubois has offered to represent you as her agent. Hire him. Scarlet Broadcasting Service has offered you a contract to play Lil in the TV show Streets of Norfolk. I will take it. I do not care. I'm famous. So now I can write a book about my freaking life. <laughs> Are you f kidding kidnappers have taken your wife rosa maria and are holding her for ransom they are demanding seven hundred and ten thousand in cash for her safe return pay them they did not return her rosa maria and her kidnappers have vanished rosa maria passed away at the age of 40 she is presumed dead after disappearing if that is not karma getting back to david i don't know what is we are officially 60 years old <laughs> my fame is at two percent <laughs> I'm so famous. But it is time to write a book about our life. So David Brunet, an inside account. So let's write it. We made 600,000, not bad. So now all we have to do is reconcile with our ex-wife and then retire in a different country. Guys, it is officially time. No, not booty call where I try to rekindle our relationship. 
she hung up on you and she gave us a restraining order acknowledge it love that for me love that for me I handled a crocodile and I'm dead. I ended this life with a restraining order from my ex-wife and dying from a crocodile. So here we have David Brunet, okay? He was famous. Net worth was 3.9 million. Career as a TV actor. Education medical school. Three lovers and three children. David Brunet's life was cut short by a crocodile at the age of 66. His services were tended by his two loving children, Roman and Leonie. Our other son died, and I accidentally threw out his ashes. A dedicated student, David went to college and eventually got his medical school degree. David's years of dedication paid off when he became a successful TV actor. Successful stretching it. Friends recall his family's pride when he joined his school's drama club. <laughs> that was the only time they were proud of him. Well guys, there you have it. That is a little different version of having ChatGPT contribute to our BitLife world. I will definitely do more parts where I actually have ChatGPT fully control every decision. But let me know if you also want to see videos like this where I have ChatGPT create a challenge for me on the spot and we have to try and complete it. If you guys are interested in seeing my last ChatGPT video, make sure you go check the playlist I have and also just go on my channel and you can find it. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.